Attic numerals were used by the ancient Greeks, possibly from the 7th century BC. They were also known as Herodianic numerals because they were first described in a 2nd century manuscript by Herodian. They are also known as Acrophonic numerals because the symbols derive from the first letters of the words that the symbols represent, 5, 10, 100, 1000 and 10,000. See Greek numerals and Acrophony. The use of eta for 100 reflects the early date of this numbering system. Eta, eta in the early Attic alphabet represented the sound h. In later classical Greek, with the adoption of the Ionic alphabet throughout the majority of Greece, the letter eta had come to represent the long e sound, while the rough aspiration was no longer marked. It was not until Aristophanes of Byzantium introduced the various accent markings during the Hellenistic period that the spiritus asper began to represent h. Thus the word for a hundred would originally have been written ekaton, as compared to the now more familiar spelling hecaton. In modern Greek, the h phoneme has disappeared altogether, but this has had no effect on the basic spelling. Unlike the more familiar modern Roman numeral system, the Attic system contains only additive forms. Thus, the number four is written ee, not ip. The numerals representing 50, 500, and 5000 were composites of pi often in an old form, with a short right leg and a tiny version of the applicable power of 10. For example, as 5 times 1000. Example, 1982 Chi Didi MCM, LXXXII, specific numeral symbols were used to represent one drachma, to represent talents and staters, to represent ten minas and to represent one half and one quarter. See also Attic numerals in Unicode Etruscan numerals Notes and references <laughs>